everyone, welcome back to the Tarot Tanvi. I am Tanvi, this is not my studio and these are my tarot cards that I am going to pull towards the end of this video. So today we are going to talk about Ayurveda, the science and the art of living a beautiful life. Ayurveda as opposed to the common misconceptions is not just based on plant medicine. It's not a study to just give, to just you know cure your external body. But in fact, Ayurveda believes in holistic healing. It includes your mind, body and soul. So in a way, Ayurveda without yoga, ex yoga exercises and yoga without meditation and Ayurveda is sort of not possible. It's all connected. So when you're trying to heal externally with the help of Ayurvedic medicines or Ayurvedic diets, it's important to meditate and use yoga poses. So I'm going to talk about three important doshas in the Ayurveda and how you can use them. So Ayurveda has three doshas known as the Kapha, Vata and Pitta or Kapha, Vata and Pitta. So I'm going to explain how you can use these three doshas within your body on a regular basis to live a more holistic and a better life. Before I go on and talk about them, I would just like to say that in case you would like to book a personal reading with me, all my links to my Instagram, my YouTube and my website are in the description of this episode so please feel free to contact me so cuff is known as the as the water element pith is called the fire and vat is the air element so these three doshas are present in all of us okay and a beautiful way of living is when we inculcate all these three doshas and we learn how to live in a cycle okay now what i mean by that is that what means thoughts Okay, the air element. It is the aspect of you that helps you think better ideas, be more creative. However, however, just thinking of ideas is never enough in life. Hence, it's important to implement those ideas. And the implementation of those ideas, the hard work that we put in, that's always used by the pit dosh. Okay, also known as the fire element in our, the fire dosha in our bodies. Okay, that helps you be more consistent with your work. Now the third element is the cuff. Okay, <laughs> why do I forget? That's called the water element, which helps you rest, which helps you relax, which helps you stay in the present moment, which helps you ground yourself, you know, and just maybe meditate, maybe be in the present moment and just, you know, just chill. So it's very important to relax as well, to give our time to self-care. Otherwise, imagine if you keep working out, keep working out, keep working hard in, in, in your life, then you would or might achieve your goals, but after a while, you will, you will be very cranky, you will get very angry, and you would not have the energy to be more productive the next day, or, or you might even fall sick. So Ayurveda beautifully talks about these three doshas and how we can beautifully inculcate them in our lives, okay? So let's see what do we have for you today and the card for you today are two major arcanas. Um, we have the star as the bottom deck energy and the lover's card. The lover's card of course talks about like a romantic union. Um, I don't know meeting your, uh, for some of you I'm getting like if you're completely single there could be somebody who's entering your life. This could be like an opportunity that would bring you closer to somebody. Now I've been getting this message over the past couple of readings maybe this is like something collectively that we're going through however if you are in a relationship this means that you are actually spending more time with your loved ones and uh, especially your partner uh, and that would really make your wishes come true in some way the star also talks about a lot of healing energy you see that there's water in this and this water talks about a lot of healing a lot of healing okay and with water i'm also getting like you know this calf energy that i uh, calf dosha that i talk, spoke about in ayurveda that speaks about being in the present moment meditating relaxing so maybe i don't know going out for a vacation with your loved one could be like a beautiful way to just improve your relationships if not if you're completely single this could also mean like taking a vacation and spending time with yourself could actually be very beneficial and could actually attract somebody who is a really good match for you 
Okay, so yeah, that's all that I have for you today. I hope that this was helpful in some way and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye, take care.